Do you ever scroll through Netflix looking at the same shit? Do you ever think about just killing yourself when you see how many media streaming apps you actually have? <laughs> Well, you should not do that and instead build one of these. This is a NAS and at the minute it's hosting my Plex server. Oh, but I don't know how to build one of these. Ah, oh, shut the fuck up. Google it. I didn't know either. But I mean, if you're interested, here's how I did it. Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> first up is the motherboard. What we're looking at here is the ASUS P9DMV. It's got integrated graphics, supports ECC memory, and it has two extra LAN ports, as well as six SATA ports. A bargain at the used price of £75. Next up, the CPU. We've got here a Xeon E3 1241v3. It's a quad-core processor running at 3.5 GHz along with hyper-threading, as well as support for ECC memory. Again, second-hand for £75. The CPU cooler is just a simple Silverstone cooler. It's designed for a rack mount case, so if I do ever get a proper a prop, well, proper rack in the future, I can uh, reuse this. This was uh, £15 from eBay. Now here we've got four sticks of 4GB ECC RAM. Choosing this memory had a pretty big impact on the build, however for a server, having the error correcting code is pretty good. This will cost me uh, £45 second hand. The boot drive is your simple cheap 120GB PMY SSD. Although you can run free NAS from a USB, this SSD was £15, I mean why not. The storage, now this was the most expensive part of the build. These are two 4 terabyte drives which cost me £105 each. However, they are NAS rated drives which is what I was looking for. However, these are or will be set up in a mirror conf configuration which I mean is great for redundancy but bad for storage. It only leaves me with a total of 4 terabytes. Now this bit is where I kind of fucked up a little. What you see here is a hot swap drive caddy. And these are, and for a server build, these look the bollocks and they're functional. But don't be cheap. Don't be a cheap tight ass like me and buy a cheap £11 box of crap from eBay. Basically, the connection used in this one is SCSI instead of SATA. Now, the plan was to actually just DIY a little bit with these little Chen Bro single board connection, connectors. However, these have actually been taken out now, so when you do see them in the video, just ignore them. Should I have just bought a proper one? Yes. Do I regret buying this one? A little bit. Am I a cheap bastard? Yes, I am. Now, the case is just your cheap ATX case from Antec. Uh, I could have gone a bit smaller with it, but I needed those three expansion slots on the front. In order to fit the hot swap drive in, uh, this cost me 30 quid. And now to finish off, the power supply is just a cheap 400 watt 80 plus aero cool power supply, which cost me 30 quid. There we go, an almost 500 pound budget server build. Right, so there's the parts. Let's put them together.
shit. 